How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how you can do this. How to run full Windows 11 on your Mac. As a matter of fact, I'm running both operating systems at the same time. So I'm running Mac OS right here and Windows 11 right there side by side. And as you can also see, the performance is incredible. It's not slow at all. It's super fast, super snappy. It feels native, almost as if I'm using a Windows laptop. But as you can see, this is a MacBook. And speaking about MacBook, this process is updated. So it works with any and all modern Macs, including of course the Apple Silicon Macs, M1, M2, M3, M4, and the new M5. I'm using here an M3 in this example. And also, this is compatible with macOS Tahoe as well. So if you go ahead and take a look here, macOS Tahoe. So updated to the latest versions of macOS and to the latest Macs available right now. So without further ado, let's get started. And as always, I'm gonna show you the process step by step. So I have completely uninstalled everything related to Windows on this computer because I'm gonna do it with you from the beginning. And the first thing you have to do actually is go ahead and open up your favorite browser and then go to this website. Of course, I'm gonna have a direct link in the description so then you're gonna come straight to this page. And then right here, you can go ahead and click on try free. And just so I can explain you very, very briefly, with Parallels, you're actually able to run Windows 11 on your Mac completely officially. This is the legal and official way to run Windows on your Mac and you're gonna see why in a second, all right? And I do recommend that you go ahead and download the 14-day free trial first because of course, you need to test it out. You need to see for yourself how amazing and seamless parallels actually work. And of course, after the 14 days, if you really like it, you can just go ahead and come back to the very first page and buy now. So right here at the buy now option, you have the plans and I actually have a special coupon for you guys. I'm, it's gonna show up right here on the screen, the coupon. And of course, my special link is in the description as well. So you're gonna get amazing deals on parallels okay now let's just come back get back to try free and then of course start the installation process which will begin right here at the email address and then agree as you can see and then submit and then the download will start automatically you're gonna have this button right here if it doesn't so just go ahead and click on download and then it's gonna start downloading very very fast as you can see we're already done we can close the browser, you don't need that anymore. And you're actually gonna be amazed at how simple and easy the installation process is. So just click on the installer and then double click, and then we're gonna start. So don't bore me when opening this kind of application, open the very first option, and then we are already getting started and downloading and installing Parallels Desktop. And the way this is gonna work is first, we're gonna actually download the software itself, Parallels, and then, inside the, the installation process, you don't need to do anything else, we're gonna actually download Windows 11 automatically. So this is so, so cool. And then, as you can see, as this pop-up window shows up, we're gonna actually download and install Windows 11 from Microsoft. So as you can see, it's all official. Within the very same Parallels installation process, we can go ahead and get Windows 11, as I said, completely officially. This is so, so cool. Let's go ahead and continue and then download and install Windows 11. Let's click on install Windows. And then as you can see, it's requesting, preparing, and the process is gonna start automatically. It's gonna be 4.5 gigabytes, so depending on your internet speed, it may be like just a couple of minutes or even a couple of hours, of course, if your internet speed is, is very slow, but let it do its thing. It's just gonna be a couple minutes for me. And then after a couple minutes, after the download has finished, you're gonna see validating as you can see. So let it do its thing. And then it's automatically gonna show up this other page where you can see installation assistant and we're just getting ready to install Windows 11 itself. As you can see, it's all automatic. You don't need to do absolutely anything. Just wait until now. As you can see, the process usually takes five to 15 minutes to complete. So let it do its thing. Don't do anything, don't interrupt. You can actually close this window right here and let Parallels install Windows 11 for you. 
always make sure you have enough battery when doing processes like this because they may take a while and they require a little bit of processing especially on this very first installation process so your battery may go down faster than usual that's completely normal on this very first setup part so make sure you have enough battery if not plug it into the charger okay let it do its thing let's wait a few minutes after that, you're going to see this other page, installing and a percentage. Your computer may restart a few times. Keep in mind, your Mac won't restart because we're actually installing just on this window. So nothing will happen to your Mac. But on this window, you may see like rebooting, restarting and so on. But nothing to worry about. This is completely normal. Just wait a couple more minutes. And I'll be back. Next up, you're gonna see the Windows 11 logo and this spinning, rotating circle thing. And please keep in mind that this step in particular actually may take a while. And you may think that the process is frozen, it's not working or something, but just be patient because just this screen on its own may take a few minutes, sometimes several minutes. So just be patient, okay? Hang in there. After a few minutes, you're gonna see another screen like that installing and your computer may restart a few times. Again, just a matter of waiting. And then we get to this clearer page saying good things are coming your way and then your PC will restart and a few more messages. We're almost there. This is the last setup loading page. And again, it may take a few minutes, okay? So just take it easy, hang on, we're almost there. And so we get the installation complete page. We're done. You can click to continue. As you can see, it will already make the screen large and then you can accept the terms and license agreement. And then we're almost there guys. Just accept and we're done. Uh, as a matter of fact, I do recommend that you go ahead and click on the maximize. So just to expand. So then you have this full screen immersive experience, but of course that's optional. And here, let me just accept the cookies and then let me just close because this is actually Microsoft Edge already inside our Windows 11. So as you can see, fully working, fully functional, super fast. I'm doing this real time with you. And as you can see, that's pretty much no delays, no loading times, nothing like that. It's absolutely perfect. And again, we get access to both Mac OS and Windows 11 at the same time. You can already close everything. You can uh, eject all of that if you don't want to because you don't need that anymore. And then we're good to go. That's it. That's how you run Windows 11 on your Mac. Most updated process, Mac OS Tahoe compatible, Apple Silicon compatible. And of course, there's a special discount with my coupon as you're seeing right here on the screen and special link in the description as well. If after you try the 14 days trial, you wanna go ahead and get the license and actually use for good Windows 11 on your Mac. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next videos with you guys. Bye-bye.